don't think there's many tickets left. I'm not going to lie. Um, but hopefully by the time this goes out, uh, there'll be enough for uh, people in, in, in Ballot 4. Just to clear up, what I've actually had from the box office, I asked them about it, was that whatever remaining like, allocation is left, if there's any left over or if the allocation doesn't match the amount of tickets, then that will roll into Ballot 5 the next day and so on and so on. But from what I've had a look at today via the website, via my brother's account who was in um, Period 1 and Lee and Johnny as well, I'd say there's probably less than 2,000 tickets. I might be, I might be wrong on that. Toon Poles is going to be doing a little check for that as well. He's actually going to sit there and count through how many seats are left. So that's very interesting. But moving on to something a little bit more negative, unfortunately. It seems that Christian actually hasn't been found. There was several reports saying that he'd been found and the club were talking about the fact that he'd been found. But it seems it may have been a case of mistaken identity. And they've now come out today and confirmed that actually hasn't been found and he's still missing. Um, hopefully that changes by the time this goes out and thoughts and prayers with everyone across the region with regards to what's happening over there. It's absolutely horrific. Obviously it hits home with regards to Christian Atsu and him being such a huge member of Newcastle United. Obviously you've seen him on the channel and many other channels and he's clearly a very personable and professional person in and around the club. So thoughts and wishes are with his family and everybody else is involved, of course. Um, Moving on to something a little bit different, what this is this video is mainly about is Keith Downey has confirmed that Newcastle United will be partaking in an Amazon four-part documentary. Now, what kind of format we, know, we is that going to be in? I don't know. It seems like it's going to be a behind-the-scenes thing. So I think if you've watched the likes of All or Nothing from the NFL. Um, what else is there? There's ice hockey. There's obviously the football now, so Manchester City and Spurs, etc. Uh, then you'll know the kind of content that's produced. I don't think it's going to be under the all or nothing umbrella because it's only a four-part series. That being said, I don't know. Um, so that'll be very, very interesting to see. Um, there's no kind of release date on that as of yet. I believe that they're, they're, I think it's currently ongoing as we speak. Um, obviously have a look into that in more depth and we'll cover that in videos as well but just wanted to bring you that Newcastle United will be part of an Amazon documentary now Eddie Howe when he comes to the club originally was talking about he didn't really want the cameras to be involved but I imagine things have progressed because of what's been going on at the club obviously we want brand exposure we're doing far better than we expected and you know it's just little things like you see them letting the Sky Sports News cameras into the dressing room after games now which is completely unheard of so that's very interesting as well so it looks as though they've already kind of embraced the cameras and to be honest it doesn't seem like it's had a negative effect it may well have had a positive effect which is very very interesting so i'm really excited to see that as i'm sure many of you are so keep up to date with what we put out with regards to that because i'm sure we'll be getting some snippets and things like that along the line when things are confirmed very very interesting and good luck and congratulations to everyone who's got their, their tickets for Wembley so far. So buzzing for you. And for those people that are complaining about people being happy on Twitter, come on. I know it's difficult. I've been struggling as well. But we've got to be happy for people. And, you know, hopefully we get the opportunity to go as well. If we don't, you've got the city to be a part of. Go down to London. Not around the ground and box park because, unfortunately, they're not showing the game. And they won't allow you in without a valid ticket just so you're aware. Um, but, yeah. That's that. Just thought we'd give you a brief little round of what's going on. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Peace.